Well, as many as 10 reported tornadoes hit our area last night, and one of those tornadoes was confirmed in suburban Oswego. The damage there is extensive. That's where we find our Darius Johnson with a look at the damage. Darius, you've been showing it to us all morning. Have you found anything uh, new or different, I guess, since the last time we talked? Yeah, Jackie, not much different than what I've shown you all so far, but I can tell you things are definitely changing in this neighborhood. Take a look behind me. I'm sure you can hear a lot of the leaf blowers. You can hear a lot of the tree trimmers. Many of these people are here right now assisting the people that live in this neighborhood. I think one in, in my one of my earlier live shots, I told you all that there were some tree services, um, some different companies that had arrived into the neighborhood. Well, at least in the last 30 minutes or so, they've really started to clear things out, especially if you take a look farther down the street, you can see where that one tree was uprooted. I showed you all that tree earlier this morning. It had just missed that home. They since cut up that tree and they're getting ready to completely remove it from that yard. So this is what many of the people in this neighborhood are dealing with right now. However, there are still others. If you take a look at some of the video that we've gathered so far, there was a lot of trees that were just split and toppled over. All of those things took place right here along Wilmette Avenue here in Oswego, right off of Route 71. Take a listen at what one of the neighbors told us. She tells us that it sounded like a lot of booming last night and she started to hear a lot of those trees snapping. She's lived in this area for more than two decades, so she's kind of left not knowing what to do this morning. I haven't called the insurance company yet. I don't know where to start. This is the first time I've ever been through this, so I, I'm just happy we're all alive. Nobody got hurt. This will be something we can talk about all summer long now. And right now, I'm not sure if you were able to just hear that noise. They just stopped it. However, there are some ComEd workers with some wooden utility poles. That's about four workers here right now, about four or five different ComEd trucks. If you take a look behind me further down the street, that is where a tree came crashing down, splitting one of those wooden utility poles, knocking out power in this area. Neighbors in this area tell me they haven't had power since around 9.30, maybe 9 o'clock last Last night. So comment they are working to try to get back there. They are working to try to restore power in this area. So hopefully for these residents, there will be some sense of joy, some sigh of relief in the next couple of hours once they are able to clean up a lot of this debris and get power restored for just these people who live here. But we still know that there are hundreds of thousands without power, Jackie.